Hey, it's Johnny Ecker. Hope you're doing well. And today we are back with some more Minecraft Vault Hunters. And today I just want to be running as many vaults as possible. I'm hoping to get through four, maybe five. I don't know how much time I'll have. Um, but yeah, we're just going to jump straight in. I think I have everything. I'm going to do one last check real quick. Probably need another shulker box. But we're just going to be getting in, running as many as possible, and seeing what we can do. Okay. I think I've got everything, so we're going in. Um, I haven't done much off camera, to be honest. Just did a few bounties, nothing too special. I got, I finished making the knowledge shark, so I might do that today. Oh, this is nice. I got a candy cane vault, winter vault, I think. Um, anyway, like I was saying, really haven't done much off camera. Got on the knowledge star, but the thing I want to get with the knowledge star is costs two knowledge points um but yeah i still don't know the best way to really edit these so you probably won't see much of these i think is my consist consensus um oh gosh um unless they're unique like this one this one's kind of cool kind of special so you'll probably see a little bit more of this one than other ones but you'll probably just see me looting in most of these oh my gosh I'm getting destroyed by these tiny little dumb, tiny dumb things. Oh, Vault Sword, let's go! Oh, that one has a shield. Yes, that's so good. Mine's actually really low durability. Ooh, found my first monolith. That's good. I only need one more and I can get a box, too. Oh, two Omegas in a row! Yes, I found another monolith. Thank goodness for this, because that's how I was able to see it. So let's go. We're going to get a crate as well. Let me make sure my inventory is empty. And I think we call that good for this fall, and we head out. We got quite a bit of loot, and we're going to get a monolith crate with it. Oh, nice! 5,000 XP. That's pretty good. Let me show you guys the loot as well. Okay, I'm gonna open this monolith crate first. Oh, another shield. That is killer. Let's go. All right, so in total with the monolith crate as well, this is all the stuff I got. So this full crate, which is pretty good, probably the best thing in this crate is probably the shield and the sword, to be honest, and the carbon, those three. Probably all, are all really good. This one here, the best thing I got is probably the, these ores. And I'm actually going to roll all of these right now. I'm hoping I can actually get a pretty good new shield because I need one. Oh, that's an epic sword. Okay, so let's, let's compare here real quick. Of course the sword is going to be probably better. Not as high as attack. It attacks a little bit quicker, but it has a lot more modifiers. Oh, with an empty prefix. Oh, I just rolled plus five attack damage. Oh, that brings up to 15 then. Dang, that's good. I don't like the suffixes, but... Oh, chaining attack. That's good too. So I think that, like, so if I hit one, then it has a chance to, like, share some of the damage to another mob. Alright, I think I'm set to go for the next one. I put a break here on my sword, got my backup shield because I think this one's probably going to break during it. I also finally put efficiency 5 on this pickaxe, which is really, really good. It's going to mine super quick now. And I put it in the vise a little bit and got one more mining speed. Also, the star moved, so I think it leveled up and got more mining speed. I don't know. I'm going to have to check that, but I think that's what happened. I don't know. Either way, it's better now and should be able to break the spawners pretty quick. And let's jump into another vault. Let's see what this one's looking like. Oh, sand vault? Pirate vault, maybe? I don't think this is the pirate one. But it is the sand one. And it's pretty good. Okay, you see that? That was chaining. So when I hit him, it does half health to the other guy. Which is actually crazy. Chaining is really good if I can do like that much damage to two people at once this is an omega room i'm pretty sure 
Okay, I'm spending the rest of my time in here. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of mobs. I wanted to find the monoliths, but this is more worth, I think. Oh my goodness, there's so many mobs. Okay, TBH, this is future editing me here. This room was kind of really bad. All it had was just blocks and those big barrel things. I can't find any chests. It's not an Omega room, and there's just a bajillion mobs. And so for the sake of time, I'm, I'm skipping it. Uh, oh my gosh, that was a big mistake. Alright, there's two minutes left in this vault, so I'm dipping. Um, got decent loot. Not great, but not even that much XP compared to the last one, but hey, I'll take it. Alright, so here's all my loot. Definitely a lot less than last time. Uh, I don't even know what the best thing is I got. Probably, to be honest, these wild focuses and the carbon. Uh, those are probably the best two things I got, and they're not even that awesome. Okay, I think I'm all ready to go for the next one. That last one didn't. I didn't feel like I got a ton of loot, so hopefully this one will be a little bit better. Oh, what type of vault is this? Also, this is a new type of vault that I've never seen. It's like crystal caves almost, which is pretty cool. Oh, another... Another shield, that's good. Ouch. Oh my gosh, poison hurts. Oh, look at all those coins. Yes. I'm rich. Alright, really? I think I'm gonna loot this room and then leave just so I can save the durability of my armor. It is taking a hit. Alright, we still got like seven minutes, but... For all of my items' sake, I'm leaving because e, I, didn't, I don't want stuff to break. We leveled up though. We got two full skill points. Let's go. Alright, so here's all the loot we got. To be honest, the best thing we got probably the shield and the biniotite and the carbon. Those three are probably pretty good. The shield's probably definitely the best. Also, here's the Knowledge Star. I'm actually going to see if maybe in this video, since I'm running so many vaults, if I can get another one. Because I'd really like the simple storage network. Um, so we're just going to run another vault. This will be four. Okay, this, I think it's just like a normal cave. Alright, this vault, I'm just going to try to focus on these chests. The ornate ones. Just because I want the more vault gear, the better. Oh, man, what is this room? This looks sick. I don't know if this is an Omega room or not. I mean, I think so. It looks like it's mostly living chests here. Man, this would be dope if I was going after living chests, which I'm not, but there's a lot in here. I think it's almost all living chests. I found an Omega room. Okay, so this Omega room is actually crazy good. Um, so it's like I'm... Oh, what are the chances? Okay, hold on. I need to mark where I'm going first. So, how this Omega room works is there are little pedal stools like this one, which is a common plus sword. And you use your... Like, you buy it with one gold. So, I actually need to make a crafting table real quick. Hold on. I have, like, no gold. I can buy it, and boom. I got a sword for one gold, which is dope. Okay, future editing me here. Um... To be honest, these rooms are really cool, but this one didn't really have anything good in it, and I also just need to cut it out over time. And to be honest, I had no gold anyway. I kind of just walked around and looked at stuff. Um, but yeah, these rooms are cool, so make sure you bring gold into the vaults with you. Alright, I'll probably have to do it for this vault. I think I got quite a bit. Oh, dang it, I need one more monolith. Dang. Only if... 2000 XP, that's probably the least XP I've gotten, so that's kind of sad, but oh well. Show off the loot here. Pretty good loot. I think the best thing I got was probably these three ores here. That, those are pretty good. Alright, I think that's pretty good. We got four crystals. And I don't think I have another time, time for another one. Boom! Knowledge star. We got two of them. So we go like this. Knowledge point. 
knowledge point. Let's go. And then we can spend it in here in the researches. So I think this is the way to get I think this will be good, which is dope. And you know what? Just to round it off, why don't we craft some armor? And I think, you know what? I'm gonna craft a chest plate just because mine seems like it's gonna die soon. And craft some boots because those are gonna be the next thing to go. Which is sad because my boots are actually crazy. Also, to be clear, you can repair these. You need a repair core and it will repair them all the way, but they're kind of expensive for me right now, especially the pay knight. That's probably the most expensive thing. Roll both of these though, come on, something good. Those boots just passed epic. Oh, oh my, oh, that's so lucky. That's not, oh, oh. that's an old mega chest plate. Oh my gosh, it looks freaking dope too. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this. Soulbound. Not bad. I'm actually getting close to level 10, so that will make it so I don't lose this chest plate. I might actually leave it as is then, because Soulbound might be kind of nice on this. Alright, that'll probably have to do it for today's video. I can't believe how much we got done. Like, four vaults is crazy, but being able to get this chest plate is probably honestly the best part of this. Like, I got a lot of loot. And I was able to, actually the Knowledge Star was pretty good. Having two of those, that's pretty dope. But I still can't get over this chest plate and just how sick it looks. But yeah, that'll have to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new, I appreciate it. If you like and like the video, new videos every Thursday. And remember to stay jolly.